a while back, before I was aware of these scam artists that are uh, in the cyber world, um, I almost fell victim to a scam that was going on. And um, I don't know if that's ever happened to you or not, but I want to talk to you a little bit about that today in your morning cup of inspiration because it really has a direct connection to how the devil tries to get to us. See, I, I got on an online account that I had and I got this message saying that there was a problem. I couldn't open up the account itself and it was directing me to another page. And when I, when I clicked at another page, uh, it was a legit account. So I thought, okay, let me go see what's going on here. Um, I went to another page. It kind of confirmed something that was wrong and had me call a number. So I called the number and this girl answered and said, yes, she goes, uh, there is a problem here. She's going to set me up with the technician. Well, I got to the technician, so I'm going down, I'm falling down the rabbit hole here. I get to the technician, and he says, yep, he says, I think we have a problem, but I need to see your computer. I need to be able to have control of your page. That should have been the first red flag, right? Well, I agreed, let him see the com uh, computer, see what was going on. <clears throat> and he proceeds to show me a page that was like with my directory, but had like a dozen Trojan horses in it. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's all in there. But... Thinking in my, in my head, I, I was using an Apple computer. I had a virus control on there uh, to stop it, a virus stop. Um, but I said, okay, I see this here. What do we do about it? And he said, well, I had to get into my permissions to give him full access, what he can do. And as soon as he said that, I mean, I got a voice in my head saying, get out, get out, get out, get out. And just get out of there as fast as you can. And so I started him hauling around. And finally, I just said, look, I have an emergency. I've got to go. And he goes, this only take a minute. I said, no, I, I tell you, I got to go. This is such, such an emergency. I will call you back. I'll call back the same number and I will ask for you. And I got his name. <laughs> so I hang up and then I went in and I, I found, I was watching what he was doing. So I was able to get in there and see that my directory was clean. There's nothing that had been touched inside there. So I called back and same girl answers. Now, what are the odds of that? Got the same technician saying, just saying I talked to a tech, I didn't give his name. He answers the phone and I read him his beads, of course, called him out for the scam that he was. And he came back on me and cussed me up and down and how dare I. And anyways, he ended up hanging up on me. But the thing is, is this how the devil will come at you too? He'll do the same kind of scam, right? And you try to get right into your heart and into your head. He'll use everyday events or things that the Bible tells us that are sins and he'll say, yeah, it's not really that bad. Especially, it's, it's not a big sin. You know, the big ones, yeah, I understand, but this isn't a big sin. And we start sugarcoating it. We start saying, okay, yeah, we can get away with this. Or we can do that. Or we can, yeah, we can see this as, you know, it's, it's not bad. But it builds up and it builds up and it builds up until we continuously fall into this trap that he sets for us. You know, Paul wrote over in uh, 2 Corinthians 11.3, he said, but I fear lest somehow... As the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. See, serpent tried to tell Eve if she ate from the tree that she was going to become like God. She'll be able to know things that God knows. You know, the devil wants to know that. Satan wants to know things that God knows he doesn't. He wants to be higher than him and he's never going to be. Don't let him deceive you. Don't let him get to you with the little things. Don't sugarcoat it. The little things are still bad. They're still not good for you. Know what God has for you, and he will bless you. He will protect you. Ask him constantly to protect you from Satan and from his scams. God bless you, everyone. Look forward to seeing you again for another morning cup of inspiration. Have a wonderful day.